Japan is offering black men $75,000 to impregnate their women. Here's me in Tokyo with the girl that I met at the car pop up. I'm not showing faces no more because y'all are weirdos, but after we hung out, I took her back to my hotel and I straight killed her shit. She told me to bring some rubbers and I did not have any. A few moments later. And just like I expected, y'all, I got got. I really might have some other stuff too because look at my lips. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's up, guys? You ain't gonna believe this, but. There's a thing called a passport pookie. Yes, not a passport bro, but a passport pookie. And this passport pookie decided to go to Japan and show everybody how he gets down. Now, it is safe to say it didn't go how he thought it would go. But he doesn't care because he's a pookie. And a pookie in the States is the same as a pookie in Japan. Check it out. Japan was in desperate need for black men. So me being the smart individual that I am, I went and got myself a ticket. I don't usually do stuff like this, but when the government is asking people to come there, why not? And it's really like the perfect time too, because I was about to go to DR, because you know, if you're in a drought and you got zero holes, the best place to go is the DR or Columbia. So instead of going to DR, I figured I would just change my flight and see what Japan's talking about. If y'all want to sit back and wait around, then that's cool, but me, I'm the type of guy, I'm gonna go get it myself. Just like Young Thug said, I just needed the platform. This should also be a warning for y'all females to do a better job trying to keep your man. Because give him five reasons on why he shouldn't just up and leave and go to Japan. I don't really know what to expect when I get there. I just hope I can be loved and swarm with Japan ladies. I hope I can mate with most of them. I might stay there, I might end up staying there. I just wanna see if this is actually true. I'm the risk taker, I'm the big dog. You guys want to sit around and hee hee ha ha ha, oh my god. No, I'm the one that's going to go get it. Definitely spoken like a true pookie. But somehow he's blaming the women for him being this pookie. But um, I think you always been a little pookie out there. Day number two in Japan. I woke up kind of late, so I knew I had to catch up. So I immediately hopped on Tinder. I told her I came here yesterday, but I'm staying until next Sunday. The tension started building up and I said I love taking control. She said she loves to be fully controlled, so I said, all right, how about whoever finishes first has to pay for our date that we had set up? All they ever use in Japan is WhatsApp or Telegram, so I immediately went to that. Around 5 p.m., she came to my room and I already scored. Now, I knew I was gonna finish first, but it doesn't matter. It's about the tension and the talking. Most of the times, the buildup is better than the actual thing. Like, you have to give her a reason to wanna come over. So that's why I made it a competition. I'm not gonna lie, I was free balling inside of her. I didn't wear a helmet or anything, but she was okay with it. So if she wants to keep it, that's up to her. That was my main goal anyways. I wanted to come here and start her family. All right, so after I finished that, I hopped back on the train station. And I started walking the streets again, pulling out my Google Translate. I went inside this very popular club and I met this dude named Evan in like the first 10 minutes. He was also from America and he was telling me that he's been staying here for over a month and a half for free, leeching off other women. After he told me that, it's like my third eye really open, like I've really seen a vision and why I was here. He then told me that he knows a better spot. I was kind of in more of a ghetto area, so we hopped on the train and we went to that area. He ended up leaving the club a little bit early because he met somebody and he sent me this. <laughs> Salute to him, man. He's a star player and he's still putting up numbers in overtime. He said, fuck it, don't sub me out, coach. I need to get my stats up. I was still at the club and I made the dumbest mistake ever. I put my bus on in the club. Mind you, this wasn't Tokyo, this was downtown. So like in Cali terms, this was not in LA where all the tourists be. This is Compton in the gutter. I'm not gonna lie, they were dancing. You probably can't see them right now. But as soon as I put them on, the whole energy in the entire club shifted. More females started coming up to me. They told me to come to the back. I was using my Google translator. Hold on real quick, I'm so sorry. I just can't help to tell you guys that I really put that shit on. It don't matter where I'm going to, I'm gonna get fly. But yeah, so the girls were like more on me and the guys, it was like these four Japan street thugs. They were just me mugging me the whole entire time. Now they eventually left after like 30 minutes. So I thought they weren't tripping. But after I went home with my girl, bro, they was outside waiting for me. They started speaking Japan shit 
And I think she was telling them to stop. She was about to cry, telling them no. I could not understand a word that they were saying, but let's just say I sprinted home. I did not take any risk. I was running in these dark neighborhoods. It was super scary. And I wasn't tripping if I didn't leave nobody because I did already score earlier in the day. But yes, the racism and envy is really starting to show. Stay tuned for day number three. Hmm, now is this a straight pookie? This here is a grade A pookie. Not only this brother would go and shoot it up in the club, just free balling. He is leaving pookie seeds around. So he's trying to impregnate women and I guess go back home. He's only there for a few days. So that's your mission to go there and free ball it, shoot up the club and leave little pookies and go back home. But you better be careful when you're overseas in the international waters. They have stuff that you can get and you can't get rid of. Day number three in Japan. Immediately off the wake up, I started farming on Hinge. I was fucking with Tinder, but I couldn't tell if some profiles were fake or not. I met this girl that was half Japanese, half Latino, and she really spoke three different languages. She's from America, but she stays in Japan by herself. So I said, you got to teach me Spanish so I can talk dirty to you in two different languages. She said, you're a baby, I'm almost 26, so I said, make me grow up then, show me what adults do. She stayed in the city that was not too far from my hotel, so I said, all right, what day am I coming over, I'll give you home court advantage. At first, she was hesitant, but I got her phone number and I FaceTimed her, and I just slowly broke her down and convinced her. I snuck in a quick picture right before it tip off, pay attention to the handcuffs on the bed. I'm definitely not a baby anymore. After what she did to me, I feel like a whole new man. After that, I had her take me back to my room, I'm paying $1,900 for two weeks. It's kind of expensive, but it does come with free breakfast. And I think it's $300,000 in yen. Here is where I met this black girl named Jada walking the streets of Shibuya. She was gorgeous, so I had to approach her. She was a foreign exchange student. She was actually from Chicago. I had to sneak these pictures because I didn't want her to know anything about my journey. But this just shows me that God has a sense of humor because me coming to Japan was like my diss track towards black women. And then he hands me the most perfect black woman I can ask for while I'm in Japan. We eventually left to get something to eat, and let me just tell you, I do put that shit on every single time. She took me back to change, and she changed at her dorm. Right here though, we went to this small lake in Shibuya. I really hope this doesn't blow up too much because I don't know how she's gonna react if she sees this video. I had to jump in the water, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. It was just too tempting. I went back home to go shower right quick, and me and Jada went out again to go eat. And let's just say I put that shit on again. It's getting out of hand now. This pretty much sums up day number three. Me and Jada went back home to our spots. We didn't do anything, and I wasn't tripping because my stuff was kind of feeling funny. I don't know if it was an ingrown hair or a razor bump, but I'm going to wait it out a few days. Also, I hear a lot of you guys saying if I get married to a girl in Japan, I can get paid to live here. If me and Jada do not work out, I'm probably just going to do that. Also, if you're stationed in Japan and you're in the military, we should link up and I should borrow your military outfit because I heard Japan girls go crazy for a black man in the military. But yeah, stay tuned for day number four. So, um, little Pookie boy already starting to feel something different down there. Now, he said like an ingrowing hair or a bump or something like that. So, you meet with one girl. You're already feeling funny down there, which probably sound like warts, but you didn't scrap, you didn't strap up. So you kind of get what you get. Thank God you didn't touch this sister and pass whatever you just picked up on her. But ladies, beware of the pookies. They're everywhere. Now he's overseas, but he's coming back home. That's the thing. And what is he going to bring back with him? Day number four in Japan. So off the rip, I immediately woke up to some bullshit. This is the same one from day two, the one I met on Tinder and the one I was free balling inside of. Baby, I'm sure I'm pregnant. I got tested and I'm sure I don't want to abandon my baby because of my religion, but I don't want to be bullied for giving birth to a black baby. Like what? The, I'm not even tripping if you have the kid, but now you bring a race into it. Please call me later. I'm calling her bluff on this. Like in basketball terms, if it's a foul on the play and I'm the coach, I'm challenging the play. Since I had to go through that, I didn't want to stress myself out too much. So I figured I would get out the house and treat myself. Here's what I had for breakfast slash lunch. I'm not even gonna worry about that. I'm gonna call that girl tomorrow, but today I'm gonna have my fun. I hit up my boy Evan from day two and I said, yo, what's the moves? Get me out the house before I crash out. He sent me this video. 
The legend himself, Evan, had to go home. Unfortunately, it was his last day in Japan. He was leeching off women for two months staying in Japan. He motivated me. He gave me the self-confidence that I needed. Everybody, please show love to Evan in the comments. I had no plans, so I went back to old reliable Mrs. Jada. We pretty much talked and just drove around for hours. The vibes was perfect. Everything was perfect. But I told this girl so many lies, and if she sees this video, I'm pretty much fucked. I don't fucked around and told this poor lady that my father passed away and I got his inheritance, so I was taking a little vacation. That's how I ended up here. That actually did work. I don't talk myself and to get some sympathy coochie, but my stuff was feeling funny, bro. I don't know what it is. I think, like, you know, if you go so hard the night before, it gets a little bit swollen. I think that's what it is. I really don't think I have anything. So I didn't want to touch her just in case if I had anything, because I actually care about this girl. So I said the best cop out answer ever. I told her, I don't want to make love with you yet because I don't want you to think that I'm just here for that. If you're a man and you turn down buns, Every single day after that, it's going to be there automatically. This was the best thing I could have ever said. And plus, my mind wasn't in the right place since that little baby incident happened. But stay tuned for day number five. So the serial club shooter is now the serial liar. But see, they play the game over there, too. You touch the girl one night. The next night, she said she's pregnant and she need all this stuff. And a lot of these girls, what a lot of guys need to understand, they are working girls. You might think it's that easy to run up on him. Yeah, it is. The working girls. They getting something back out of him. He's hes not saying he's probably paying for it. He's not telling you that, but he's probably paying for these one-night stands. You contracted something because you ran up in it without a helmet. Now you're having problems feeling down there, and then you're lying to this other girl, and then you got another girl telling you she might be carrying a little pookie seed. So you already starting out wrong. Just see how it goes with, uh, with the rest of this. I mean, he still had a few days to go, man. And you already- Day number five in Japan. Y'all remember this from day four? You guys helped me realize that she tried to pin a baby on me. It takes at least six days for the baby to fertilize and for the test to pop up positive. And it's only been two days. So you know I had to troll. She texted me back four hours later and said, if you didn't cooperate, you would think you should have stayed in America. Like, is that really a threat? because I'm not putting up with your fake baby. Now here's the bad news. The black girl I met, Mrs. Jada, she found my shit. One of y'all little sneaky femboys sent her my videos. There's a lot more stuff you can do for money, bae. I know, I know, just chill on me, bae. LMAO, so are we not compatible? I don't know, it just threw me off to be honest, but I like looking at you. You can look at me all day, that's not the problem. You just have to gotta look past my other character. No, I can't be seen out here my man's posting that shit. Bro. I can't get her back now. You guys fucked off everything. So yeah, anyways, after that, I went to this little car pop-up show and some Asian girl approached me. I wasn't even in the right mind space, but I still took her under my wing. You guys don't realize how sneaky I have to be when I make these videos. I'm not finna approach them like, oh yeah, I'm on my journey trying to make babies and start families in Japan. I checked up on the homie Evan right quick and he sent me this video. It turns out he didn't even go back to America. He went to another different part of some Asian shit. So yeah, he's living life. I'll tag him in the comments. You guys need to tell him to start making content. Here's me in Tokyo with the girl that I met at the car pop-up. I'm not showing faces no more because y'all are weirdos, but after we hung out, I took her back to my hotel and I straight killed her shit. I was low-key doing a little bit too much, but I had so much anger built up, like you have to understand me. She's lucky I wore a helmet because my stuff was kind of feeling funny still, but if it wasn't feeling funny, I know she would make a great mother. That pretty much wraps up the night. Stay tuned for day number six. Let me get this straight. So this passport pookie gets mad, gets mad at everyone because the girl saw the post that you posted talking about her and how you lied to her, but you mad at everybody else for somebody showing it to her. And then on top of this, knowing that your, your puppy is sick, you still gonna go lay up with someone else. Thank God you did have on a helmet with this girl because who knows? But these are classic pookies. He is like this at home because anybody know you would go overseas and definitely strap up because you don't know what's going on. But he's over there just parlaying. You know you probably got some, but you're still trying to push through for some reason. And my mental part of this is 
Why doesn't this bother you that much? It doesn't bother him that he may have contracted something day one. So let's figure this dude out, man. Day number six in Japan. I went downstairs for some good eats. I'm paying a lot for my hotel, but if I can get this every morning for free, I'm not really tripping. I paid to ride these bikes that they had going on for tourists. It was super fun, but it was super long and hot. I was drained right after this. I took a nap and I woke up super late, so I hopped on Bumble. A lot of people are saying that this is the best app for Japan. I got this one girl's number, so I said, hey. She said, hello, baby. Do you have any black in you? Aha, no, baby. I'm completely Japanese. Do you want black in you tonight? I'm glad to hear that. This translation be inaccurate sometimes, but I think she said yes because she put the heart emoji and the eyes emoji. This is proof that Japan is easy. I would not get away with this in America. She told me to bring some rubbers and I did not have any. So I went downstairs and this is all they had. So yeah, I cracked her at her place. And at first I had on the rubber, but I took it off. And I think it was just so good that she didn't even realize. I made a big mess. Not all of my load made it into the basket and it was on the side of her leg and she smeared it off and I think she started cussing me out in Japanese. I don't know what she was saying. I was just sitting there like a sad puppy. I did not know what to say. I was scared. And then she called somebody. I tried to record it a little bit, but I didn't want her to catch me. So I just left it how it was. But yes, I did try to make her a mom, but I got caught up. I should have stayed inside a little bit longer. Stay tuned for day number seven. Day seven. So this Pookie, this Pookie here, and I'm going to keep calling my Pookie a passport Pookie, not a passport bro, set out to impregnate women, period. Now, knowing that he's possibly contracted something, because he know now, he knows something's going on, you still going to run up in this girl, take the condom off, and just squirt everywhere all over the girl now when she went to translate it didn't say what he thought she said i actually used one of these little translator pens to see what she was saying y'all need to get one of these these things are great i got off tiktok i don't know the link so i don't sell them i need to but it didn't say that's what it said she was talking about i guess like he had a lot of energy and put her to sleep but basically Dude is out there trying to make her a mother. He said, I'm trying to make these women pregnant. You're not getting 75000 you just out there to try to make women pregnant and go back home. Now, that's some loser. You know what I'm saying? I, I, like I said, this brother probably do this at home. So he probably just run up and shoot up the club. Like I say, just free balling and probably do it at home. Yeah, he's a, he's a serial shooter. Yeah. So I, I don't expect much out of it. Day seven in Japan. A few days ago, I actually did end up taking this at home kit to see if I got burnt, but it was too confusing. So I just went to the doctor to get tested. And just like I expected, y'all, no! I got got. I really might have some other stuff too, because look at my lips. Mm. Mm -hmm. I refuse to let this stop me though. I understand that I'm the star player and I'm injured, but I'm still going to carry the team and put up stats. It's crazy because this is the same day I got burnt, day number two. I was so happy that I took a post-game picture. Same girl that tried to pin a baby on me is the same one that burnt me. And she's still blowing up my phone even after I exposed her dumb ass. Hey, I need to understand this. I can have a baby, but I want to get married. First it was, I don't want to have a black baby. And now I want to get married first. I don't want you to go home. Please call me baby. Bruh, leave me alone. I'm not finna be with you. First you burnt me, and then you lied about having a baby. Anyways, back to the streets I go. I stopped at this little store to get some helmets because I'm not freeballing no more. But you know I had to stop and get a little thirst trap for the gram. This time I waited for a Ling Ling to come up to me. Five minute Google Translate conversation. Boom, back to my room just like that. You guys can't even be mad at me at this point. There was a little obstacle during my marathon and I tripped and fell, I ain't gonna lie. But I have to get back up and finish the race. I still got numbers to put up. I'm not gonna be here forever, so I'm still gonna have my fun. And like I said, I'm a star player that's injured and my team still needs me. I'm LeBron James at 40 years old. My team still needs me, I cannot stop now. Stay tuned for day number eight. Now, what are the chances of little buddy not only getting one, but two? venereal diseases 
and possibly three because those bumps are all around his lip. See, he's been going down on them girls. So he probably contracted something else. And then earlier, you know, he said something about some, uh, felt like some hairs or bumps. So he might have contracted warts too. So your first girl over in Japan just so happened to be one of Japan's slut buckets. And you ran up in it raw. And she done set you on fire for the next couple of days. And you still run around here laying up with women spreading this thing. And so, look, I did a tour over in Korea for a year, hardship tour in Korea. And one of the main things they told us, do not, they call it muff diving, going down on these girls. Make sure you strap up, double strap up if you have to. Do not kiss them because a lot of them work in the clubs. If they're in the club, they go into the club. They be at home, but that's where they work at night, in the clubs. And I say work in the clubs, they are P words in the clubs. And they could be anywhere from 16 on up. So you don't know who you're running into and the street's just running up on you. You see how this girl tried to get him. One day next, I'm pregnant. Come on, guys. So we can't be out here trying to be what we call passport bros doing weird stuff like this. This is not part of that movement. I hope it's not anyway. But a lot of women do like black men overseas in certain parts. But that don't mean you go over there and do mess like this. But this brother here, he's going home with some stuff. Because he got to get some blood work done now. Because the warts and whatever that is popping up on his lips, that's in their blood. And, and you want a nasty brother if you over there going down these girls and you don't know nothing about them. You nasty, brother. You nasty. Well, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments on this passport pookie. And, uh, and I'm up out of here. I ain't got nothing else to say on this, dude. Make sure y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe. And definitely hit the next videos that pop up over here, up here, and up here. And I'm up out of here. And it's your boy. And I'm out. Y'all take care. Peace.